This is the question asked in today's daily challenge in skill rack. So the program must accept the entry time and exit time of an employee as the input. And it is given that the time will be in 24 hour format. The program must print the difference D between the entry time and exit time as the output in 24 hour format. So we are given a two lines of input. The first line has the entry time of our employee. The second line contains the exit time of our employee. Now our task is to calculate the time between these two time intervals. So there are 4 hours 22 minutes and 40 seconds between these two times. So let us see how to calculate this value. So in 8 hours 12 minutes and 15 seconds totally there are 29,535 seconds. In order to calculate this value we have to multiply 8 with 3600 since every hour has 3600 seconds 8 hours would be having 8 into 3600 seconds and we should add that value with 12 into 60 because every minute has 60 seconds so 12 minutes has 12 into 60 seconds and then finally we have to add this 15 because it is already in seconds so 8 into 3600 plus 12 into 60 plus 15 would be 29,535. Similarly, the same we are going to do for this. So now the employee has entered at this time and the employee has exited at this time in seconds format. So now the difference between these two values would be 15,760 seconds which means that the employee has stayed in the office for 15,760 seconds. Now we are going to convert these seconds into hour minute second format. In order to do that we are going to perform the reverse operation which we did here. Here to convert the hours into seconds we multiplied 8 by 3600. What we are going to do here is just the reverse operation. So the seconds is 15,760. So instead of multiplying, we are going to divide by 3,600. So dividing 15,760 by 3,600 will have the value 4.377. But we are just going to consider our integer value. That is 4. Which means the number of hours in 15,760 seconds is equal to 4. So let us add it here. So first 4 hours. Now we have to calculate the maximum possible minutes in this 15,760 seconds. So out of this 15,760 seconds we have utilized 4 hours. So 4 hours in seconds would be 4 into 3600. So we are going to subtract 15,760 with 4 into 3600. So now the difference time would be equal to 1360. Now we are going to calculate the minutes. So we are going to divide 1360 seconds by 60 which would have the value 22.666 and again we are just going to take the integer part. So 22 minutes. Let us add it here. So 4 hour 22 minutes. And now we have to calculate the seconds and before calculating the seconds we have to update our difference time. So again difference time would be equal to so 1360 it was here so 1360 minus 22 cross 60 because every minute has 60 seconds. Hence the remaining seconds would be 1360 minus 60 into 22 which is 40 seconds. Now we are just going to store the remaining seconds in SS. So 40. So this is the hour minute seconds format. So now from this we can say that the employee has stayed in the office for 4 hour 22 minute and 40 seconds. Let us see whether this value is correct or not. So let us see our expected output. So here also we are getting 4 hour 
ट्वेंटी टू मिनट एंड फोर्टी सेकेंड्स सो नाउ लेट एस सी हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस यूसिंग सी प्रोग्राम दिस इज द प्रोग्राम आई हैव रिटर्न इन सी लैंग्वेज लेट एस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द मेन फंक्शन so here in the main function initially i have declared two character arrays named in time and out time in which i would be storing the entry time and exit time of the employee and i am accepting the entry and exit time of the employee in string format in the next line in the next line i am creating another variable named in time seconds in which i would be storing the entry time of the employee in seconds format Similarly I am going to store the exit time of the employee in seconds format in another variable named out time seconds so we are going to convert the given input time into seconds format using a function named two seconds which i have defined above let us see how this function works with the side by side example let us assume this is the particular character array which is passed in the arguments of this function and here we have declared some variables named hh mm ss and l and we have set its value minus 1 and 0 now our aim is to store the value 12 in hh and 34 in mm and 55 in ss in order to do that we are going to use a for loop and travel through every characters present in the character array and whenever the character present in the character array is a digit we are going to apply the formula l is equal to l star 10 plus s of i minus 48 so let us see how this works first the loop starts from 0 and in 0 the character is 1 it is a digit so we are going to apply this operation so the value of l initially was 0 so l is equal to l star 10 so 0 star 10 plus s of i minus 48 the reason to include this minus 48 is to convert the ascii value into decimal value the ascii value of 1 would be 49 so 49 minus 48 is equal to 1 so in order to obtain the decimal value we are using this minus 48 and now the loop moves to the second position the value is 2 again it is a digit so again we are going to perform this operation now the value of l is 1 so 1 into 10 plus 2 so 10 plus 2 is 12 so now the value stored in l would be 12 now the loop moves to the third position here this is not a digit so there is a colon present in the character array now so this particular condition is failed we will move to the else block and it checks whether the value of hh is equal to minus 1 if the value of hh is minus 1 it means that the value of hh is not found yet the first found value would be hh so we are going to store the value of l in hh and make the value of l to 0 in order to find the remaining mm and ss so now the loop moves to the fourth position 3 it is a digit since the value of l is 0 so 0 plus 3 the value of l would be 3 and now the loop moves to the fifth position 4 again it is a digit the already stored value in l is, so the value stored in l is 3 now so 3 into 10 30 plus 4 so the value stored in l now would be 34 now it moves to this next position now the loop moves to the sixth position it is not a digit so this condition is failed now it checks whether the value of hh is minus 1 no the value now it checks whether the value stored in hh is minus 1 but it is not the value stored in hh is 12 so this condition is also failed so now we are going to store the value of l in mm and again make the value of l to 0 so now we have found hh and mm now again this loop goes to this position 5 it is a digit so 0 plus 5 the value of l would be 5 is now the value of l is 55 and the loop has reached its last position but still we have not found the value of ss but the value of ss would be stored in l 
So finally after the execution of this for loop we are just going to store the value of L in SS and finally we are going to return the seconds format for the given input time. We have the values of HH, MM and SS. In order to convert the given time into seconds we are going to multiply hour into 3600 which is same as 60 into 60 and the minutes into 60 plus the seconds. So this is how this function 2 seconds work. Now let us go back to our main function. So we have seen till this. In the next line we have declared another variable named difference time in which we would be storing the difference of out time seconds minus in time seconds. And as we discussed only using the difference time in seconds format we can know how long the employee has stayed in the office. So we are going to convert this difference time which is present in the seconds format into hours minutes second format. So in order to do that I am declaring three variables named HH, MM and SS and as we discussed first we are going to store the integer value when the difference time is divided by 3600. So as we discussed we are going to update our difference value. So we are going to subtract the difference value with the hours which we calculated. And in the next line we are going to find the number of minutes by dividing the difference time by 60 and again we are going to update the difference time value and then finally we are going to store the difference time in seconds. So now we have found the values of HH, MM and SS. Now we have to print it according to the time format. So we are using a ternary condition. So whenever the value of any HH, MM and SS is less than 10 we have to include 0 in the beginning. So we are doing that using a ternary condition. So if the value of HH is less than 10 we have to print 0 in the beginning. So let us take the example 4 hours. So it is not in HH format. So in that case we have to print 0 4. So to do that we are using a ternary. So now I am going to give the sample input 1. And for this particular input our expected output is 4 0 4 22 40. And let us see what we are getting. So we are also getting 0 4 22 40. Now let us also give the sample input 2. So our expected output is 0, 01 41 20 and let us see. So we are also getting 0, 01 41 20. So thank you for watching.